Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today I'm trying an Australian canned food, and I'm not sure if you'd call it a soup or a stew, but you're not going to believe where this Australian soup came from. That's right, it came direct from Australia. Isn't that hard to believe? Australian food from Australia? Depending on the food, if this is an American food, chances are it would say product for China on the side of the can. But yes, this is real Australian food. From the land down under, where women glow and men blunder. Where they make shrimp on the barbie, bloomin' onion, Alice Springs chicken, and the ever so decadent chocolate thunder from down under. And if you believe any of that, I have some oceanfront property in Arizona that I'll give you for a real good price. Australians don't eat bloomin' onion, shrimp on the barbie, Alice Springs chicken, or the ever so decadent chocolate thunder from down under. All the names for those foods are made up. And what kind of marketing genius would name a dessert after a black male stripper? Today's canned food that we're trying is harvest vegetables and sausages. That's all it says. It doesn't say if it's a soup or a stew. But one thing I have noticed is Australians call what Americans call hot dogs sausages. Which in my culinary opinion, hot dogs and sausages are two totally different things. Sausages are made with quality meats and are coarse ground and stuffed into casings. Then they're either cured, or smoked, or kept raw until it's time to cook. Hot dogs, on the other hand, can be made with anything from the rooter to the tutor. And if you're not familiar with the terminology, from the rooter to the tutor, it means you use any and all parts from the nose of the pig to the tail of the pig. Literally, everything but the squeal. It would be the same for beef and chicken. Now I'm not really sure what you would say for beef, since they don't really root with their nose like pigs do. But for a chicken, since they peck for their food with their beak, I guess you'd call it from the pecker to the wrecker. <coughs> All the meats and animal parts in a hot dog are basically ground down into a delicious meat pudding, and then filled into casings, and then most hot dogs are fully cooked. So if my assessment is correct, I'm getting ready to try hot dog soup for the first time in my life. Hot dog soup isn't something I've really ever heard of, and it's definitely not something I ever thought I'd be eating. In the heartland of Rich River Country at Ashuka, Harvest has been making nutritious Australian meals for over 20 years. Each meal provides a balance of meat and a selection of vegetables in a delicious sauce. Enjoy! Well now that they said it's meat and vegetables in a delicious sauce, I've been incorrect when I was calling it a soup or a stew, so it's just vegetables and sausages. Simply heat and eat. No artificial flavors. There's not a whole laundry list of ingredients in here, like there would be in a canned product here in the US. Luckily, there's no TVP in here, but there are other sources of soy and protein. I've had a lot of people ask if these are the same as TVP, and they're not. If you want to know what they are, here you go. There's two servings per can. Each serving has 688 kilojoules, or 164 calories, 6.4 grams of protein, 7.2 grams of total fat, 3.6 grams of saturated fat, 16.4 grams of carbohydrates, 4.5 grams of sugars, and 754 milligrams of sodium. Now let's pop open the can and get it heated up. When I first opened it up, it looked and smelled like a can of Beanie Weenies. Speaking of Beanie Weenies, I loved them as a kid, and I haven't had them in years. We'd eat Beanie Weenies and pork and beans right out of the can. It was the best thing ever way back when along with the little pull-top cans of Donald Duck orange juice. If you've ever eaten Beanie Weenies or other foods right out of the can, hit that like button and let me know what your favorite food is right out of the can. We poured the vegetables and sausages into a skillet over medium-high heat. It's definitely a very hearty looking meal in a can. Lots of weenies and vegetables. Except those little green devil seeds, also known as peas. It's pretty funny, peas used to be one of my favorite vegetables. Now, they almost make me gag. I don't know what it is. Now give it a mix and bring it up to a simmer. Come follow me on Instagram if you want to see foods that I cook and eat and other weird things I do throughout the week that I don't video. Our vegetables and sausages are ready. And now it looks more like a stew than anything else. Regardless whether it's a soup, stew, or vegetables and sausages, it smells and looks pretty darn good. So let's get it in a bowl and give it a try. 
I wanted to try the broth or the gravy first, but in this case, they call it a sauce. And that could just be regional terminology, like the Australians would call what we call a gravy a sauce. The same as the sausages versus hot dogs. So this to me does look more like a gravy than it does a sauce. After I tried what I call gravy, I didn't care if it was called gravy or sauce, it was delicious. It had a nice mild curry flavor to it, with a hint of sweetness which I really wasn't expecting, but it was quite good. But Courtney on the other hand, didn't like it at all. Next I tried a piece of carrot and a piece of corn. And the texture and flavor of the carrot was great, as was the piece of corn. Both were sweet and not mushy at all. Then I tried a piece of potato and the devil's green seed. The potato is just like any potato you get out of a canned soup. It has that weird waxy texture to it. It's not mushy, it's not hard, but it's soft and waxy and somewhat dry. And they also have that weird canned potato flavor to them. And the pea was a pea. As I mentioned before, I don't like peas, but this one wasn't mushy or overcooked. It still had some integrity to it. And unfortunately for me, it tasted just like a pea. So far the sauce, or gravy, whatever you want to call it, and the vegetables have been pretty good. So now, let's try a sausage or a hot dog, whatever you want to call it. And since this looks exactly like a hot dog, I went out on a limb and said it was going to taste like a hot dog. But I was pretty wrong, and now I get why they call these sausages. Because they taste exactly like a Vienna sausage. Or if you're from the south like I am, you call them Vieny Wainies. The flavor of the sausage was good, but the texture I didn't care for. I've never had a hot Vienna sausage, and it kind of gives these a gritty texture. Next I tried a big old bite of everything. Everything together was pretty good. The texture of the potatoes helped hide the texture of the sausages. And the overall flavor of the sausages, gravy, and vegetables was pretty good. I don't think this is something I would rush out and buy, but I'd eat it in a pinch. Overall, it was pretty good, which is why I'm going to give it a better than average score of 6 out of 10. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year, or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.